Hey everybody, James Jaguar Tavern Response. Three things that are destroying your pistol. And I, and I mean, like you're breaking stuff on it, so let's talk about it and avoid those things. Um, number one, dropping rounds into the chamber and letting the slide go over them. What you're going to do is break the extractor. You're going to break the extractor. And the extractor is a little hook that pulls the case out. And uh, it's that thing right there on the pistol you can see it's this it's this thing here at the end of it and what happens is you you drop that in and eventually enough times you'll 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 break the bottom corner off and you might not even know that you have you could look right now the bottom corner might be broken off that's what breaks off first and the, the top corner is it's on its way um so don't don't do the repetitive uh thing where you where you drop it in drop it all the all guns should be loaded from the magazine, put the magazine and loaded that way where it comes up under the extractor and goes forward. Uh, and people are going to say, what about when I practice type 3 malfunctions? Well, well, okay, but you limit your exposure to the problem uh, as much as you can. And so load your gun properly and it won't be an issue. Number two thing, on the front, on, on, the, the, uh, on the barrel, <laughs> and uh, these are barrel lugs underneath, uh, on, on your Glock pistol, you can look and there's like a flat shelf. And then there's like a crescent shelf. And so when you put the gun back together, it's very easy to get this thing on the flat shelf instead of down here on the crescent shelf. Well, what happens when that thing is <laughs> too low? It hits, comes back here and hits this and breaks this off or breaks the bottom of so if you're if you're if you look at the back of your recoil spring and it's chipped up and cracked or or half of it's broken off that's what you've done is you haven't gotten it down uh low enough on there to uh, uh to cl to clear the um uh, the block and you're breaking you're, you're destroying your gun uh at least a recoil spring and the third thing is over lubrication i'm going to say it i'm going to keep saying it over lubrication getting oil down into the striker pin channel or even worse putting it in that hole right there uh, that's directly into the striker pin channel um, what happens is, immediately is there can be a hydraulic resistance that slows the uh, striker down but the the real problem is long term after you shoot the gun shoot the gun shoot the gun uh, and the crud builds up the unburnt gases and powders and carbons and dust and all that stuff it, it'll slow the striker down and you'll start having um, failures to fire one out of three one out of four rounds and just the gun won't work right and just you got to clean that thing out so watch my video on proper cleaning and lubrication of an auto pistol and it'll show you exactly how to do these things with without screwing your gun up this is james jacob protector sponsor reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends